COTG product specialist. What I want to show you now is how to scan to email on a Xerox 53 series. And then what I'll show you a little bit later is how to update the email address books. So coming in, let me show you how to go to email. We're at the services home screen right now. What I'll do is I'll press email. And really the basic way to do it is I'll place my document either on the glass or in the document feeder and I'll find my name in the address book. The address book is located in the left hand side of the screen. So I'll press the address book and then my names are listed right out here. There's a couple ways to do this if you have a lot of employees and you want to search for it, but let's keep this simple right now. If I want to go to myself, I just press my name so it turns blue and I press 2. If I don't want to change anything else, I can go ahead and press the start button and it'll scan to my email address. Otherwise, if I want to change things like make it scan two-sided automatically, change it from black and white to color scanning, um, or anything else like that, I'm going to go ahead and press the close button on the upper right. So speaking of which, here's my color scanning. It says auto detect. What that means is if it sees color on the original document, it's going to scan it in color. If it just sees black and white, it's just going to scan it in black and white to keep the file size pretty low. If I do want to change it, I just press color scanning and I can choose from any one of these four options. One important thing too is for two-sided scans, I don't want to have to make a copy of a document before I scan it to split it up, make it you know one-sided originals. So if I do have a two-sided original, I can press two-sided scanning. And then all I do is I tell it two-sided. Then I put my document in face up, press start, off it goes. Last but not least in the email. If you would like, you can change the subject. You can't change the from address, but you can tell it a different subject. When I press subject, which is on the right hand side of the screen, it's going to say something pretty typically like scan from a Xerox work center, which is boring. So I can press delete text on the right hand side and type in whatever I want it to say. Then I'll press save, start, and it'll actually uh, do exactly what I want. Let's go and, and figure out how to actually adjust these email address books. Basically, we can do it either from the interface of the device or we can do it from a computer. Let me show you how to do it from the device first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the machine status button, which is on the lower left hand corner of the control panel. When I press that, I'm going to go to tools, which is on the top right to tab. What I want to do is I want to set up an address book entry for email. So what I can do is press set up on the left and then add address book entry in the middle. What this does is it gives me not just who's already in there, but a whole boatload of available cells that I can go ahead and put someone in. So I'm just going to pick a random one and then ask me for an address type. I'm going to tell it exactly what it is. It's not server fax or internet fax, it's email. Then I press save. Now there's a lot of information that I could put in, but to be most efficient, all I need is the address type, the email address, and the person's name. So for email address, I'll just type in a quick email, perfect. Then I press save. For name, I'll press it, and it opens up the keyboard again. Then all I have to do is press save, save one more time, and then close. Then when I press the silver services home button again, I'm back to my main home screen.